Hello everyone, it's Mr Gaming Freak here and this is the video which I, well this is the two videos compiled into one which I promised you on Wednesday and Thursday but I was busy and stuff came up and I never got a chance to upload them so I'm going to put them both together, well I haven't really even made them which is the problem so I'm going to talk about them now and just get out. Basically this was meant to go up on Wednesday, the 24th, yeah, Wednesday the 24th of August which was the day before the 25th, clearly which is GCSE exam results day and 2016 and I'm a 16 year old student who just finished at GCSE so I was nervous Crit <laughs> flipping out I was way too nervous since I know I could have done a lot better I know and I can and my ref my results reflect that I was terrified but when I got to the day it wasn't so bad there were people nearby me to support me and I ended up getting into pretty much all of my subjects which I want to do at A-level apart from maths which means I will not be able to do computer science at university anymore however I do have two years to sort out what's going to happen after sixth form but this was such a stressful experience to me but when I got there it was all fine and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about Results Day is built up to be a scary day which determines your future, which it really doesn't because a lot of people, a lot of people I know don't even have GCSE results and they've got successful jobs and living happy lives with a happy family with no money problems. Some people do get unlucky with their results, yes, but it doesn't determine who you are. It's not a test of who, it's not a test to show your skill, your creativity, your intelligence. It's just a test. You, yes, it's important for your future career choices, but you don't need it. Well, you do need it, but it's not quite as bad as you think. If you get bad, res if you got bad results this year, it's not the end of the world. For instance, my cousin missed one mark off a C in GCSE maths, which is which can severely cripple you in s future education. But I'm hoping that she'll get it all sorted out and everything will be fine. But even so, you do not need to worry that much about this. I was worrying and then it turns out the day went fine. I got through the day. Yeah, I could have done a lot better since I was mainly sat on seas, but it's it's how I made and this video is way too serious that I haven't uploaded a funny video in quite a while. But don't worry, I've got a little project which I'm working on which should blabber be uploaded this Sunday if I get it finished in time or next sometime next week because I want another gaming video uploaded this week as well. But for now, well <laughs> That's all I really was. I w it was meant to be two quite long videos, but now that it's passed, I've kind of missed out on stuff to talk about. So what I'm just going to say is, GCSE, yes, try hardest in them. It will help you, but if you do end up failing, you will not suffer that badly from it. Yes, you may have to change your future about a bit, but so am I, and that's why I'm doing it right now. But it'll all work out for you in the end, and you'll all live happy, successful lives with ha happy families without money care in sight so that's all i really want to talk about and say and i just want to say i hope everyone enjoyed well not really enjoyed got decent results and if they didn't like i said it will not hinder you that badly you will find a way around it because all of you are strong and I'm not, a re I'm not a very good motivational speaker, simply because I can't even form coherent sentences half the time. So that's why I'm going to end off this video. I just want to say well done everyone on their results and good luck to you all in the future. For now, I've been Mr. Gaming Freak and I'll see you all in the next video, which should be Sunday. See ya.